Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and welcome to this free motion quilting tutorial on Lovely Border. So this design is gonna work better whenever you quilt it into a long, narrow space, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit, but I wanna explain the rules of the design here in a smaller square on my home machine. The first step is to stitch a heart shape and have that almost come to the edge of your quilting space. So if this is in a border, you're gonna bring it down to where it's almost on the edge. Now we're gonna swing around this and we're gonna come around with an echo. And you're gonna just, actually it's not really an echo, it's kind of just a nice angled uh, line like this. It's just gonna curve around it, okay? And that's gonna get you to the opposite side. And this is gonna allow you to fill in over here. And so over here, you're gonna travel stitch down and stitch another curve and then a little gentle echo of that heart shape, just like so. And then come down, echo again. You're gonna fill up that space with echoes and that can be as close or as far apart as you like. So if you're working and you want a nice soft border, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to leave a nice amount of space between those heart shapes. Okay, so once you get done with one side of the design, we're gonna travel stitch down, and then we're gonna form our next heart shape. It's gonna come over here, and it's gonna kinda nest in with the other one. And again, it's almost gonna go to the other side, but not all the way. And then yet again, we're going to travel stitch and echo with a nice curving line. And if I had more space, you'd see I'd go all the way to the opposite edge, and I'm gonna fill that in the exact same way. So in this way, this design kind of bounces from one side to the other. We're gonna come and fill in one side and then we'll travel stitch over and then we'll fill in the opposite side. So it's kind of like one heart is branching in on one half and then the one heart is coming in and then it's all filled in, all the extra space is filled in with these nice echoes. Okay, now that you have an idea of how the design works, let's jump on the long arm and see how it works in a nice long skinny border. So now I'm in the border of my green quilt and we're gonna try lovely border here. I'm gonna stitch a heart shape and slowly travel stitch down. And we're gonna echo across with the idea that we're gonna hit the opposite side. So there we go, hit the opposite side. And then I've got this weird area, so I'm gonna go on ahead and fill that in. Travel stitch over, and I'm hitting, yep, hitting a little clamp back here. You gotta watch out for that. And it is much easier to travel stitch on straight lines using a ruler. So I'm grabbing my ditcher ruler here, stitching along that. I can set up the slot here and stitch straight down. And that's just gonna help me stay lined up nice and even all the way through. When you want a straight line to be perfectly straighter, you want to stay right in the ditch. It's really good to just grab something to help you do that. All right, so now we're gonna stitch a heart going in the opposite direction. Here we go, almost over to the other side. I need to put that clamp back on now that I'm away from that area. All right, now we're gonna travel stitch down and again, stitch right across to the other side. I'm gonna travel stitch back and fill in this area. It's just a little dip, little echo, that's all. And binding that travel stitching actually working really well. As long as I go nice and slow, I stay on the line. Okay, swirl out with another heart, almost to that other side. It's really kind of neat. It's, you know, you bounce uh, hearts on one side, bounce hearts on the other and then you're just using that single echoing line to connect you over, so that way you can fill in that little gap between the hearts with just a little echo. I really like that. I think this would make for a very quick and easy border. You know, something that you can easily stitch. And as you can see, it fills in lots of space. The bigger the heart shape, the more space it fills in. There we go. I have to think about how that's gonna fill across a corner, but that is how it works whenever you stitch it in a nice long straight line. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Leah Day, and I hope that you've enjoyed free motion quilting with me today. If you'd like to find more videos like this, where I quilt half on my home machine and half on my long arm, 
go to leahday.com slash FMQ. I have shared hundreds of videos on a home sewing machine and I've just started from design number 502. I've started sharing them like this, where I share a little bit of home sewing machine quilting and a little bit of long arm quilting. It gives you a good idea of what each machine is good at and how the design can change. So check out those videos at leahday.com FMQ. Until next time, let's go quilt.